Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, Most High and Christ bless. Uh, you're watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Gideon, and to my right, Soldier Nate Sean. Um, today's topic is uh, called A Way Out of the Streets. A Way Out of the Streets. Because many of our brothers are entangled in the streets. And many of us, you see in IUIC, we were in the streets. But we followed those, blue, that, that, those blueprints that is set in the Bible, and guess what? We came out. So you could do the same too, only if you're willing to listen. So without further, any further ado, we're going to start. Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. We're going to start at verse 7. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. I don't care how much degrees you have, how much street credit you have, how much street knowledge you have. If you don't fear God, you have no knowledge. Read. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. You are a fool if you hate the laws. The laws are meant to save your life. But instead, you turn your back against the law and where you end up? In jail or dead or hooked up on drugs, a crackhead. Why? Because you were a fool and you hated knowledge. Read on. My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. Think about this for a second. On a plain level, without this Bible, because many parents, many of our families was not raised in, in the Bible, but yet they give us good advice. Advice is that when we were locked up, doing five, when we were shot up in the hospital bed, blood gushing out, we're like, damn, only had I listened to my mom or my dad. Am I, am I lying? You know that's a fact. I've been there, and I know you've been there. So how great are the laws of God? Read on. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. When you follow the laws, you're going to look good. You ain't got to worry about driving down the street, and then when you hear a siren, you start bugging out like, oh, damn, they're coming for me. No. You ain't got to a little Ray Ray stabbing you and shooting you. You ain't got to worry about that life. Read on. My son, if sin has enticed thee, consent thou not. What, what is the first warning? My son, if sin has enticed thee, consent thou not. If sinners entice thee, consent thou not. What is a sinner? A sinner is a person that commits sin. So what is sin? So you can understand what type of people you're supposed to turn away from. Because a lot of time we end up in certain drama is because of peer pressure. We refuse to turn our back from certain people. So read that for me. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. So go back to Proverbs. When the scripture gives you the warning, it says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. That's talking about people that are breaking the laws of God. Give me Exodus 23, verse 2. Because usually you find yourself moving to a block and you make friends. And those friends are engaged in certain unlawful situation and you follow suit just because you want you want to impress people or there's a girl you want to impress or you just want to live a fantasy life like a, a like a like a movie star this ain't the movies you get shot for real hot lead but many of you ain't gonna listen to this class but I pray some of you do listen and change your lives read 
the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. That's a law. Don't be joining no gangs to go do evil. Read. Neither shall thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So don't slender. Don't, like, you know, like, okay, you'll be a false witness. You know your boy killed the person, but snitches get stitches, right? Don't get involved in that lifestyle. Don't follow those crowds because they're not going to lead you anywhere good. Anytime you step in the game, you got one foot in the pen, one foot in the grave. It's a matter of which one is going to catch you first. You never seen it go any differently for anybody else. So what makes you think it's going to change for you? Go back to the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 10. My son, if sin is enticed thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. So that's the thing. When you join those gangs, what do they do? Yo, let's go rob this fool. Yo, you saw that dude, he got that new whip. He probably moving mad weight. Let's kill him and take everything he got. That's not the life you're supposed to be living. Give me Isaiah 51 and 20. So you can understand the Bible is talking to you. It's your book. And we need to wake up out of the sleep and come out of the streets. Or you're going to fall hard on this concrete pavement. I'm telling you. Read the book of Isaiah. Chapter 51 verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets uh -huh. as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. So, peep game, who do you see in the corners? I grew up in Brooklyn and the Bronx and Queens. And spent mad time in Manhattan. You know what I see in all the corners? Black and Hispanics. Playing the block. Yo, that's my block. That's my corner. At some bodega owned by the poppies or the Arab men. Allowing them to do mischief in those corners. That's you. We fainted in those corners. We're like wild bull in the net. Looking to kill people. You remember that kid in the Bronx? He ran in the store. Whole bunch of mobs, gangster dude ran in there and killed the dude for no reason. Playing the corner morning, noon, and night. Why? Because you don't want to get a job. Hold up. You don't want to work a minimum wage job. New York, I think minimum wage now is $15. So you don't want that job for eight hours a day. But you spend 16 hours hustling. You spend 24 hours hustling. When you count what you're making in, in comparison to the hours you're making, you, you're working. You ain't making no money. And you're risking your lives. And here's the thing. You're selling a product that's killing people. Because nowadays, Coke... To sell coke, you need fentanyl. Fentanyl is killing people. You sell a nickel bag of weed, where do you think that weed is coming from? You contributing to, to, to so much crime, it's not even funny just by buying a nickel bag of weed. But yet on Sunday, you at the church, give a little donation, you think you're good. No, man. The Bible said don't follow that lifestyle. We have fainted in the corners. It's time to come out of those uh -uh 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 lifestyle. Give me Micah chapter 2 and 8. People are scared to go to the ATM bank, to the ATMs. Why? Because you at the corner. Your own people's afraid of you. Why? Because they know you'll rob them. That's not the life we're supposed to be living as brothers and sisters. This is why our neighborhood is so destroyed, because we're not standing up. It's time for you to stand up. Read. The book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 8. Even of late, my people is risen up as an enemy. Even of late, my people has risen up as an enemy. We are enemies to each other. Blood hates Crips. Crips hate Nietas. Kings, Latin King hate Nietas. Nietas hate Latin King. You follow? All kinds of different gangs out there. Uh uh. GD. Or Black GD. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a whole bunch of gangs. For what? You're fighting over a block that don't belong to you. And as much as you said, because I hear this a lot growing up. I don't want to work for the system. I want to establish my own and build back my own community. That's the number one excuse I've heard about people who want to hustle. Well, here's the thing. I've yet to see the community built up, no matter how much money a drug dealer make. And let me explain something to you. As much as you don't want to work for the system, 
you are working for the system. How did how was drug introduced to our community? How was the guns introduced to our community? It was introduced at an era where we were doing big things. You follow? We were waking up. So guess what? Because we were waking up, they sent people to do what? To destroy us. You understand? So that's how those drugs got involved in our community. And now we freely, because of a dollar, pass it on to everybody else. And we start robbing and killing with each other. We are furthering the agenda of our enemies. So guess what? Me that have my little $15 an hour job that's working for the system, you are a worse accomplice to the system. Because you're actually killing your own people. You're actually robbing your own people. It's time for you to stop. Because if you don't stop, you're going to die. Give me that in Matthew, this chapter 26, verse 52. The Bible tells you, do not consent with killers. Do not consent with sinners. Leave the streets alone. Read the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 52. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. You see that? You guys who pack in the Glock 911, who, you guys who pack in all them uh, Berettas, or uh, 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 I call it 38. So is that little gun they hide somewhere. It's, it's not the 38, it's 38. Busting caps left and right, not giving a damn. You're going to die. One day it's going to be your blood running in the pavement for all the blood you have shed because the Bible is very simple. Kill by the sword, die by the sword. So you better put up your gun in your holster, drop the gun and pick up the Bible because that's the warning we're giving you. And if you don't want to take it, you're going to die. Give me Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11. Uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, verse 16. Because the Bible gives you a clear warning. Hear the commandments. Hear the laws of your fathers. And your father's telling you, if sinners entice thee, do not consent. Read. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, verse 16. That they might know that wherewithal a man sinneth, by the same also shall he be punished. Say that again. That they might know. That you may know. That wherewithal a man sinneth. The same sin you are committing. What you used to commit your sin. Read. By the same also shall he be punished. It's the same thing that's going to punish you. This is why you see a lot of old drug dealers become crackheads. They finished serving the fiends. They became fiends themselves. They got half their own supply. You want to be a killer? You want to bust gun? Guess what? There's going to be a new killer in town that's going to bust your head wide open. Give you a closed casket. You understand that? That's a reality. And if you don't believe it, very simple. Go, go back to history of your block. What happened to Johnny? Dead. Who came after Johnny? Ray Ray. What happened to Ray Ray? Dead. Who came after Ray Ray? Jose. What happened to Jose? Dead. And their clicks? All in jail. You understand? The saga continue. We have fainted and the most I want us what? To come out of those lifestyles. This is why we give you those warnings. Unless you want to die, come out. Go back, to the go back to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 13. We shall find all precious substance. Now, so we read verse, verse, verse 11 again. Verse 11. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. She said, if they say, let us come, come with us, let us wait for blood. Whatever blood, whose blood you shed, your blood shall be shed. It's very simple. If a man's blood is shed by men, by men shall his blood be shed as well. You like to stab people? Guess what? You will get stabbed. No ifs, no buts, no maybe. You will get stabbed. You like to jump people? You will get jumped. Whatever you put out, that's exactly what's going to come back to you. If you don't believe it, go back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1. Whatever you dish out, that's exactly what's going to happen to you. It's very simple. You think this is a joke. No, it's not. You better wake up. Um, verse 12, chapter 1, verse 12. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 12. Seek not death in the error of your life. So seek not death in the errors of your life. So there are many mistakes you make in your life, it's going to cause you to die. 
And today we're talking specifically about street life. That street life you're living, you want to be part of a gang. You want to run up and do it and rob dudes. You want to run up people's house and rob them and kill them and, tie, and, and duct tape them and tie them and, 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 and pillage the house. All these things going to happen to you as well. Because after you acquire, what you think is going to happen? Somebody going to have their eyes on you? You follow? Or even worse, somebody you might have done something to might see you in a club one day and follow you home. These are things that... There, there, there's a, um, there's a, um, two dudes that got shot up in, in Queens. It was on the news. That's exactly what happened. They apparently used to rob people. And what happened? Somebody there, probably somebody who they robbed, saw them, followed him, and lit them up. I saw those pictures on, on, on Google. Lit them up with their Gucci's and their Fendi's on and all their, whatever else they were wearing. They got lit up. Live by the blood, live by the gun, die by the gun. So the scripture tells you what? Read it again. Seek not death in the era of your life. Seek not death in the errors of your life. What errors? Robbing and killing. Those are mistakes. Don't keep making them because you're going to pay dearly with, uh, uh, for them. Read. And pull not upon yourself destruction with the works of your hands. Pull not against yourself destruction. You are asking to die. You begging the Lord to bring destruction to your door. Why? Because you refuse to turn out the reproof of the Most High God. Go back to Proverbs. Yep. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 11. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Mm -hmm. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. So that's talking about people asking you to go rob and kill people. Read. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. So the scripture is warning you, stay away from these people. Why? Read. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Because they're about to do evil and kill people. Read. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood. They look privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. So those people who wants to kill people, guess what? They're going to die. It's in vain they're doing all this. Because whatever you put out, you're going to get it. Stay off the streets. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.